Hello, I'm Leo Brown. This is the What If It Is True podcast for today as we take a look at our gospel reading and we try to find that virtue. Here in the home studio, of course, not the, uh, not the typical high-techness of the radio studio, but it's spring break. So I'm working a, a bridge schedule here trying to make things work. So uh, gospel is John 4, 43 through 54, and this is where we see Jesus doing a few things coming back from Galilee with um, uh, having had turned water into wine, right? That's one thing. Uh, it talks about how a prophet has no honor in his native place. And then he talks about signs because the official comes to him wanting healing for his son. And he says, well, you know, unfortunately, you guys, unless you see signs, you're not going to you're not gonna go for it. And what's interesting here is that it's not so much that the official is looking for a sign. It's just he's, he's looking for healing, right? That's what he wants. He wants his, his son to be healed. And not that Christ is misreading this. He's simply saying, make your request earnest, right? Like this guy. Kind of showing, here's an example of what it really looks like to pray because he is earnestly praying for his healing, the healing of his son. And it happens and it works, right? And what's beautiful is, is that we see a transformation here in this guy and not just his guy, but his entire family, right? And how when we are willing to just abandon ourselves that way and, and just you know, come to the grips and finally accept, maybe finally, maybe, maybe we'll continue to have to pray this way because we still really don't fully grasp it, but to realize that we're not the ones in control, right? It's not us. It's all God. It's all the grace of God through Christ, and that's the only way we'll ever, ever accomplish anything, especially something this monumental. Only then will we be healed. Only then will our families be healed. And even then, things are still going to be tough. It doesn't mean everything's going to be great, right? We know that. But abandonment to that type of prayer and just saying, you know what? Um... I can't do this. I know it. I'm at my wit's end, and you've got to help. We can all feel like that at some time, and this is the logical response to that. Not seeking a sign, seeking grace. To find out more about What If It Is True, visit us online at realliferadio.com. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we stream there. Also, 94.9 and 1380 AM. That's 94.9 FM. There's no 94.9 AM, by the way. In the Lexington area, you can hear us on your radio there. So check us out there and enjoy. This is the What If It Is True podcast. I'm Leo Brown. God bless.